the user's remote will sync to that and get those updates. You have one image to manage in your data center instead of all those laptops out there in the field. So the nice thing about this is no, no longer do you have to either give them administrative rights on that laptop or completely lock it down so they can't do anything. This kind of gives you the best of both worlds for those mobile users. And it can be used offline. This is one of the big things that uh, one of the big complaints about Citrix in the past or one of the things that has a, we haven't been able to overcome is how do we enable that laptop to work offline? And this is actually it's a technology that will allow you to do that. So you take it on the airplane, disconnect it, whatever, you're able to still deliver that virtual desktop to them. And they can use it like they normally would a regular laptop. But it gives you all the management benefits that uh, are driving most of these desktop virtualization projects. So another thing is a desktop studio, we're calling it. So this is drastically simplifying the way and time it takes to get a Zen desktop environment configured and, and installed. So they're saying 10 minutes to install. Um, I've been told that that's pretty accurate, either if, even if you don't have a lot of experience. Um, then it's 10 clicks to configure it. And anytime you want to add a new user, supposedly it's only 10 seconds. So it just goes to the, we're trying to get make things a lot simpler. I know Zen Desktop in the past, some of the complaints we've gotten is that it's too complex. There's too many options. And I admit there are too many options sometimes. And flexibility and kind of sometimes breeds complexity. But I kind of welcome that. The good thing about Zen Desktop is it is very flexible. It can solve a lot of different challenges for a lot of different users in your environment. And once you have it set up, it gives you a lot easier management. But it is much more challenging to set up than some of our competitors, just because there are so many more options. But this is de definitely trying to address that and helping you get your environment set up much, much quicker. And then desktop director, this is mostly for a help desk environment, being able to watch, shadow, diagnose, issues within the environment so that you can provide support for those desktops without having to have another tool or something so you can resolve issues in the environment very, very quickly. So just a help desk tool. So that's all I have for a slideshow. Now I am going to do a demo. So now you kind of have a, an overall view of what Zen Desktop is and why. The best way to show this is to actually show a working in an environment. So this is our Citrix Virtual Computing Demo Center. Very, very cool tool that we have at our disposal. It's actually running on soft layer technology out in the cloud at a managed service provider data centers throughout the United States. Basically, we log in as a Citrix employee. We say, you know what, we want a Zen Desktop 5.0 environment spun up. And it's all provisioned on the fly, and we get it in about an hour, hour and a half. And it's used for customer demos, um, proof of concepts, just to kind of show you the technology. And it gives you a couple um, user IDs that you can go and play with. And we run them for a couple days, a few days. And then it automatically deletes itself. You're able to provision them again. So it leverages our provisioning tools that, that come within desktop to provision our own environment. So it's kind of like eating our own dog food, if you will. And it allows us to really show how our technologies work from the end user perspective. So I'm going to log in. This is, uh, you can see here, I've got an IP address. This is, uh, this is all through the internet. I hit this, this address. I was given a couple user accounts. I'm going to log in. And those Credentials are passed through, so it integrates into Active Directory. So me, as a user, I'm presented with my desktops. It goes and says, user 1, you have access to a Windows 7, you have a Windows XP, and then you have a Zen App desktop. Then it also gives me applications. So these are all the applications that I have access to as user 1. Then we also have SaaS applications. So these are 
you know, with the expansion of the cloud and software as a service applications, we can deliver those as well, all in a central look and feel. So Salesforce, GoToMeeting, which we're using today, these kind of things are becoming much more popular, so you need to figure out a way to deliver those as well. So I'm going to start a Windows 7 desktop, and you'll see how this looks. So I have my toolbar up there. I hope everybody can see that. This is kind of how I interact with the virtual desktop because it's taken over my entire screen. I hope it's coming through in the GoToMeeting. Um, it kind of shows you, okay, I've got a Citrix desktop. That's my actual production one that I use every day. Um, as a Citrix employee, I don't have a Citrix deployed PC. I just have, I was given a, a stipend, and we call it our Bring Your Own Computer Program. So you're given a check, and you go buy whatever laptop or PC you want to do your job, and you get to work in your virtual desktop. So this is my, I know I'm hopping around a little bit here, but this is my production environment. I've got SAP, um, Outlook, all that good stuff. And then I'll switch back, back to my Windows 7 desktop. So here I am back in the virtualization solution. I can tell you how to interact with USBs, uh, what are my preferences around how my, my performance is, um, my display, when I plug something in for, to my USB jack, how does that, what, what do you want it to do? Um, microphones, flash, file access, those kind of things. So you get that all from here at the, at the um, top of the window. So the little splash screen we have. So, so this is a Windows 7 operating system. Nothing fancy about it by any means, I'll tell you. <laughs> I go in here and I look, this is all going to go back to the whole point of the three, the separation of the three core components, the OS, the applications, and the, the user profile. So if I go here and I look for programs and features, we're going to look and see what's installed here on this OS. And if you look at it, we've got some Adobe stuff, some of the Citrix plugins that we need to run this, um, a couple of Microsoft the, Visual C++ stuff, um, but that's it, 20 programs in all in this entire operating system. So really nothing is installed, a very, very slim operating system, very easy to maintain, very simple to, to manage, so it, it becomes much easier for you. So basically when I logged in, we pass those credentials from the Windows to the Windows 7 device, but we also pass that on to a integral portion of the part of this thing is which is called Citrix receiver. And this is my this is a Citrix receiver and if you remember those applications that I had, this is another way to look at them. So I've got my dashboards here. These are all the applications that are available to me. So this is where the user might go to get all his applications. So I've got all these apps available to me. And when I want to say, you know what, I'm going to use that I'm going to use Word. I'm going to add that, and you can see it drag it, kind of float up and go to into my applications. I'm going to use Excel as well. I hit Add. It's going to go out there and add these to my environment as these are my favorite applications. I'll do one of these as well. It looks like it is adding them as we speak. It's talking to the environment saying, I want these to be available to me as user one. And as that happens, let's go look at the start menu too. I'll show you this. So in self-service applications, I don't have anything yet. And you can call this whatever you want. Citrix apps or just apps, we can, we can call it whatever we want. And hopefully it's going to contact this. See if there's a connection problem here. The demo gods are going to get me. Um, so as that's happening, let me go and 